Yeah, I think that's it. I think we got it. <laughs> This video is going to ask three questions. The first question being, are all driver heads the same? The second question is, how important are the shaft and driver head combination? And one final question, and that is, should shaft choice be dictated by swing speed alone? There's one other question. How OTT was that intro? Right, okay, when you buy a new golf club, there are two major components that you're considering, and that is the head and it is the shaft. The question I want answering is which is the most important? And hopefully we'll find some indicators in this video as to which one of those it might be. Do you want to see a good shaft head combination battle? I've got all day, not <laughs> No, just change it back to yellows, mate. I'm just gonna see if this is... Uh, yeah. Cheers, boss. Row guy, that was it, yeah. Oh, do you? Oh, his kettle broke. <laughs> Sorry. Don't pull it there, Jesus Christ. What's the? Jack just said to me, "Cause you're not in balls with the camera there." Can I? Two seconds. The white one better. Yeah, but the, the interesting thing is the shaft is the same. Anyway, go on, see you in a bit. Well, Jimmy was able to pick up on that quite easy with that uh, sort of fleeting visit that he's give and uh, give the secrets away really. But yeah, they, uh, there is a, a massive difference between driver head combination, uh, sorry, driver shaft combination. Now, the question will still remain is, what is the difference? Is it a case of the head is more suited for me and the shaft is fine? Or is it just a case of the driver head combination is critical and it, uh, this particular shaft works far better in the B21, which is what is proven to be the case, than it does in the Maverick Max. But either way, what it does show is that custom fitting is an incredibly important process and with an open-minded custom fit specialist as well because the idea because you used a 70 gram stiff shaft for the past 10 years doesn't mean that it's right for your new driver so the question is where am i basing these opinions on well it was the result of a test that quite honestly wasn't supposed to be what this video ended up it was purely a head-to-head -head between the maverick max and the b21 and for me, the first question was, are all driver heads the same? And in theory, these two heads were exactly the same in terms of what they were supposed to do. Draw biased, weight placed at the very back, high launch, forgiving, all the things that, like I said, are only separated really by marketing claims. So the idea was to say, well, look, Callaway, you've brought out two drivers, but what are the real differences and why did you bring them out? We then, put the shaft in, the 45 gram shaft that I explained earlier on the video, which was totally wrong for me for this B21, in theory, based on swing speed. I did the test, the original testing with that shaft. I've played with it for the last two months with that shaft. And I knew I was producing decent numbers and I was surprised by that. So what I then did is I put the same shaft into the Maverick Max and the difference was massive. And I wasn't expecting it to be, because in theory for me, if I produce those numbers with that shaft in a B21, then switching up to the Maverick Max, Max should have produced pretty similar results, but it didn't. And this is what they look like. Now it's probably best that you stop and pause and analyze that data, but ultimately one is far better than the other. And it's a considerable difference. And it goes back to that question, are all heads the same? 
Well, I'd argue, no, they're not, but there's a bit of a caveat to that, and that is dependent on the shaft head combination. Because I'll also take you back to a video that I filmed in February this year, when I first reviewed this Maverick Max Club. And it was with an Aldila Rogue 70 gram stiff shaft in it. And it produced these numbers that you see in front of you now. And what you'll notice is those now bring it in line with the B21. Virtually nothing to split them, but with totally different shafts in. And the numbers I produced, as you've seen, with the, uh, with the 45 gram shaft in the Max was 12 yards different to what it produced with the Aldila staff, uh, stiff. But when I switched it into the B21, that's that Aldila stiff, I couldn't get a number out of it whatsoever. So for me, we go back to the initial three questions that we asked. Are all heads the same? Yeah, possibly they are. I think there's differences that are there that suit individual swing characteristics without doubt. The second is how critical is the shaft and head combo? And for me, that is the key one. That is the one that made all the difference throughout this video. If we did on a head to head using the same shaft for the same club heads, then the B21 would have come out as a massive winner if it was a head to head video. The fact was, that that shaft didn't suit, it didn't transfer from one club head to the other. So for me, it goes back. The third question was, should shaft, shaft choice be based on swing speed alone? And the answer is no, it shouldn't. Because like I said, I would no way have been in that 45 gram shaft and wouldn't have got the numbers that I ended up producing from the B21. The overall thing from this video is simple. The message is always about custom fit there are so many differences in club head combinations. There are so many differences out there in terms of what you achieve in terms of custom fit. But what you do need, and I said it earlier on, is that open mind and you need somebody who is prepared to custom fit you with that open mind as well. And don't be dictated by old choices. Things like, yes, I'm gonna go for this shaft because your swing speed is 100 mile an hour. Forget that, start from scratch and find out what is the very best to produce the best results for you in the driver head or the iron head of choice that you happen to be testing on that day. I'm gonna finish my coffee. Thanks for watching, see you soon.